Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Today we got a fun one. We're gonna do uh, "Staying Alive" by the Bee Gees. So this is that cool, you know, little you know, disco funky guitar riff that goes throughout most of the song, and um, some chords in the chorus, which I'm actually gonna try to take the string parts or the harmony vocal parts, what they do, and, and turn it into a guitar part too. So you can kind of have a choice to make it sound more recognizable or just kind of do straight what they do on guitar. So let's start with this opening riff here. We're going to start with a... Uh, we're in standard tuning here. We're just going to do a, a hammer from 6 to 8 on the A string to 6 on the D. And then over to the 6 back on the A string. To the 8th fret on the low E. Then we're gonna do another hammer six to eight on the low E string this time. Over to the sixth fret on the A. So we have this so far. And then we're gonna do another hammer six to eight again on the low E to the six on the A again. So after we do that, we're gonna have a couple kind of uh, muted strings. This is a quick down up. And then we're gonna go straight up the scale. Which is 6, 8 on the low E, 6, 8 on the A, to the 6 on the D. So all together. Start over. So now we have a chord that breaks that up a lot, and it's actually... When you're hearing the album, you can barely just kind of hear the chord, guitar part, which is really easy because kind of... You're hearing this note in there in the chord. And you hear the rest of the notes every once in a while, but it's just really light. It's a really synth-driven song, so that's what you're hearing most of it. But this is the chord, 6th fret on the low E, 6th fret on the D. 7th on the G, 6th on the B string. And then go back to the riff. So kind of hold this twice as long when it's going into the chorus. In the chorus we have this. So that's pretty much just one chord the entire time there. And it's this F minor chord. 8th fret on the high E, 9th on the B, 10th on the G, and the D. Just kind of keep a constant kind of 8th note feel to it. release pressure here to kind of break up those notes every once in a while. Now the vocal harmony and the, the um, kind of strings also do this during the chorus, which is not actually done on guitar, but it sounds like this. Alright, so if you want to do that, we have, you hit that first chord and then it's the uh, 8 on the G and the B, and the 6th fret on the high E. So we have this, then 2 frets lower, then 1 fret, now at the 3rd fret we have 3 on the high E, 4 on the B, 5 on the G. So we have this. At the end of the chorus, that F minor chord again, just the full bar now, just so you just basically add that eighth fret on the fifth string there by doing a full bar. And then we have just the eighth fret on the high E string and the B string together. Kind of just a little funky riff and it takes us back to that main. Alright, 
so that's pretty much all of it except the last chorus um, instead of going from when it goes from it doesn't go it doesn't do that it does this So that chord right there, just a C minor 7, we're going to be playing the 8th fret on the low E string and then the 8th fret on the D, G, and B strings with your 3rd finger there. So this 5th string is just going to be muted by the bottom of your 2nd, uh, your middle finger there. And then back to the riff. It just kind of rotates between that chord. For that whole that I'm going nowhere part of that, that kind of end the song with a lot. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a really fun one to get down and uh, start playing. I, I, that main riff, you can just play that all day. It's just really fun. All right, I'll see you guys again soon for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye-bye.